In this video, we'd like to give you a short introduction to stage math. So to begin with, why and what is stage math? Well, what stage math is, is an online mathematics engine. It works on Mac and PC. And there's absolutely no software, you, software for you to download or install other than the web browser, which you probably already have. What it allows you to do is to just do math right inside your browser. Of course, you can do calculations, straight number crunching, but this is something that could be much more organized and productive for you. You can also do things like algebra and calculus with symbols. In other words, stage math, math will keep track of your X's and Y's and Z's symbols. And also it's just great for function plotting, visualizing functions and so on. Our focus, and indeed the focus of any undergraduate science major in college would be, of course, the basic calculations, plotting functions, doing some calculus, derivatives and integrals, and solving equations. So you might be thinking then, well, what about my calculator? Well, as you can see here, the calculator has plotted two sine waves on the left side, the TI-83+, and we've done the same thing with Sage Math on the right side. We're getting the same result, but we think as you move through using the computer in mathematics, the computer is a much more comfortable platform to use. The screen's bigger. It's a nicer keyboard. Editing is bigger. You don't have to worry about batteries going dead. Also, as you do math on your computer, you're connected to the internet. This allows for collaborations, looking for solutions, sharing results, whatever the result might be, much easier than what might be possible on your calculator. We also find this view of a student hard at work on some sort of physics or math problem using a calculator to be a somewhat antiquated view. We're not sure why the calculator persists in education in this computer age. Here, for example, is the control room at CERN, the world's largest and productive particle accelerator in Europe. Look at all these computers tied to the experiments. Not a single calculator to be found. In fact, it just sort of seems as we walk around that scientists just don't use calculators much anymore. So why should you as a student? Here's an example of someone doing a whole bunch of math on the computer, solving equations. We see the quadratic formula. We see a much more complicated equation. We see a bunch of things going on that just are in a more comfortable and productive environment than that on your calculator. So as you move through this tutorial and this curriculum, we're not asking you to get rid of your calculator. Certainly, there's much more use in it. But stepping up to the computer to do math is definitely an area of growth and a rise in sophistication that you can experience as you use mathematics to solve your scientific problems. So let's get started then using Sage Math. First thing you should do is go to a site called cloud.sagemath.com and make yourself an account. 